Hi children, welcome to class today. Our topic today will be a ratio between two quantities. We will learn how to represent ratio two quantities in a form of ratio of A to B involving parts to parts, parts to whole and whole to parts. Okay, but before that, let's see what is ratio. Ratio is the comparison of measurements with other measurements or values with other values. Okay, now look at example 1. Okay, the picture shows the uniformed unit camping activity. Okay, we have the Scouts member and also the Malaysian Red Crescent Society members. Now, okay, what is the ratio of number of Scouts to the number of MRCS members? Let's look at the picture. We have three Scout members and for MRCS, we have five members. So, the ratio of number of Scouts to the number of MRCS members is ratio of 3 to 5. Okay, state the ratio of number of MRCS members to the total number of MRC members and Scouts. For MRCS members, we have 5. Okay, if you total up MRCS members and the Scouts members, we have 8 members. So, the ratio of number of MRCS members to the total of MRCS members and Scouts is ratio of 5 to 8. Now find the ratio of the total numbers of Scouts and MRCS members to the number of Scouts. Okay, now we have already known the total number of Scouts and MRCS members is 8 and Scouts is 3. So the ratio will be ratio of 8 to 3. Now look at example 2. The following is the part of recipe to make dodol by Puan Maslina. Okay, what is the ratio of mass of granulated sugar to the mass of glutinous flour? Okay, if you look at the recipe, you need 11 kg of granulated sugar and 10 kg of glutinous flour. So the ratio will be ratio of 11 to 10 okay and remember you are not required to write the unit now find the ratio of mass of glutinous flour to the total mass of flour Puan Haslina has used two different type of flour okay she has used the glutinous flour and also rice flour. So the total flour that she has used is 11. Okay, so the ratio of the mass of glutinous flour to the total mass of flour is ratio of 10 to 11. Okay, now let's see the ratio of total mass of sugar to the mass of brown sugar. Okay, Point Maslina has used two types of sugar, that is brown sugar and granulated sugar. So the total sugar here is 13 kg. Now the mass of brown sugar is 2 kg. So the ratio of the total mass of sugar to the mass of brown sugar is ratio of 13 to 2. Okay class, that's all for today. We will meet again in the next class. Bye.